Ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Battery's getting installed. It's bloody hot out here. So let's see. So this is the wall bed. And so we have 50 inches total. And each battery is seven inches. So we'll have battery bay one, two, three, four, five. And then these will be one by two, or yeah, one by twos on the floor to keep them from sliding forward and backward. And then each battery will go like this. And then they'll be strapped across the top to the next one by two. And so we have nine inches total, we have five bays, so that should be 45 inches, and we should have a little bit left, but because there's gonna be weird tolerances, I bet it's gonna be, it'll be not much. <laughs> but they should all fit. So that's the plan. Perfect. We're in. <laughs> that's a low squat limbo. These are the batteries. All right, so we're going like this. Yeah, what's, yeah, so go ahead and tip it up on its end. Okay, do you want plus or minus up or down? I don't know, I was just trying to decide that. Yeah. Um. And you want it like that? Yep. That looks beautiful. Do you want to do one with plus and one with minus up? Yeah, maybe. Okay, gotta go get more batteries. So uh, I'm wiring them in pairs of two in series, which means I'm taking the positive terminal of battery one and wiring it to pa the negative terminal of battery two, which will essentially double my voltage. So this then becomes one 24 volt battery. And then I take the positive and negative off of these batteries forward to the next pair. That's the next pair will be wired in series as a 24 volt battery and I'll go negative to negative and positive to positive, which will put the four batteries in a pair of series that are parallel together. So I'll get 200 amp hours at uh, 24 volts DC. All right now I'm just connecting the battery terminals together. Make sure everything is tight. Now, if I check on my multimeter, DC volts, I should have 24 volts up here. And I have 26.6, because they're mostly charged. Perfect. Sweet. So I'm putting blocks in to hopefully hold these from falling over and sliding while we're moving. We're making this up as we go. I'm so glad he understands all of this, because like my friend Amanda said, it can be brain melting. I'm learning as we go, but it's slow going for me. So I'll probably go back and watch this video a couple of times so I understand what he's saying. We probably should strap these down. Decision making time. Some more hemming and hawing. We have to strap them down. Which is what my mom told me when I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Exactly. <laughs> Do you want me to get in there so you don't have to keep popping in and out? Oh, maybe. You can film for a while.
hurt your back. I won't. You hurt your back, and then you're dead. Those uh, are the consequences. Sounds like a terrible consequence. I know. Well, maybe you should consider that. I think these might all fit, which is a good thing. That is a good thing, because if they don't fit, we're screwed. Battery number 957. And then this guy will go right in there. And then your last battery. Oh boy. Good grief. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Do you think this is going to affect the balance of our... No, because there were those four batteries on that side already. Oh, that's right. We're only adding like 80 pounds or 100 pounds. Those four batteries were so heavy. Yeah, these are... I could carry two of these at once. Those other are ones were so heavy. Like 60% of the weight or 50% of the weight. Okay. So we're adding more, but weight-wise they're less. We're about the same. Ain't they pretty? We're here on the last set, so that's cool. What do you think? Cool. Well, hot dang! Yeah. <laughs> you need to get rid of your gum. <laughs> oh. When I chew gum, I end up with an accent of some kind. And then they say a lot of things like, oh, she ain't no more than knee high to a grasshopper. Or, well, hot dang! It certainly is a hot one out here. Hot is correct. We are very, very warm. I don't know where it comes from. It's just the gum. It's chewing the gum. All right, I'll stop. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, Ryan, please don't divorce me. It's like this spot was made for this. I think it was. Well, we made it for this. We made it, didn't we? Looks like we made it. Okay. Thing I always do before I connect batteries, double check voltage. 26. Got 26.5. Perfect. Exactly what we want. I know it's real pretty. Let's see. I'm gonna do the negative terminal first. The hard part is this tight space trying to get these to cooperate. I'm gonna just get this screw started. Tight. Tight. Okay. All right. They all fit amazingly. Look at that. Ten batteries under the bed. I'm going to put two holes here so the battery cables can come up, over, and straight down. That's the idea. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and we're through! Do that. Poke a hole. Oh, well. It is what it is, I guess, at this point. Okay. Oh, it was just like the top flake. Okay. So now, we run our battery cables and hope everything lines up. These are the battery cables. They are... 2O gauge. What does that mean? That's the size of the wire. They're giant. The thing is, Just I mean, flinging your wires around. They're giant because um, of the amount of amperage we could potentially pull through them. And that's why we switched the battery system over to 24 volt. At 12 volt, 3000 watts, we'd be pulling potentially 275 to 300 amps depending on if it was a surge draw. Because we're doing 24 volt, we cut that in half. 
so our max should be about 150, which means the wires can be smaller. If it was um, 12 volt, I'd have to run like two of these or get wire twice as big because the resistance over the distance, the lower your voltage, the more resistance you get, so the less you can run it. As far as my understanding goes, I'm not an electrician, so. So, this goes through, then goes down. And the reason I made the holes bigger is because they're gonna have lugs on the end of them. So I wanna be able to fit them with the lugs. And then we'll just fill this with expanding foam once it's all done. Again, this is all theory until it's done. This is just the rough plan I had in my head. Amazing that it's gone as far as it has. No, you're so smart. Okay, now we need to go prep the battery bay to accept all the equipment so we can figure out cable length so I can cut these, crimp these, and put them in for real. Okay, and this goes like that. What do you think? Oh, I see. Let's try it. Over here. So, you're crimping, what is that thing? Is the it battery a terminal? A uh, lug. A lug. A battery cable Wow, lug. there's a lot of things that are called a lug. Okay, I've never done this before. Here we go. Cool. Oh, so this is like a... It's a little battery Holy cramper. moly, that's heavy. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it has to be, but wow. But I th that's crimped really well, really nicely. So next step, you wanna see something cool? I always wanna see something cool. It's magic trick. Ooh, magic. Heat shrink. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Heat shrink. Okay. And Your magic trick requires sleight of hand, apparently. Okay, heat shrink. Heat shrink tube over the top. Yeah. I feel like this is how some celebrities get into their dresses for a watch. Ooh, could be. Heat gun and some heat shrink. That would be an interesting outfit. You right? have to cut it off afterward. Oh. What, is it, what do they say? Beauty is pain? Which I highly suspect. Ow. Well, it's hot, so it's painful. So you must be beautiful! This is a stupid conversation. We'll put music behind this. <laughs> there we go. Done. Woohoo! Now what? Uh, I gotta do it to the black cable. The trick is always to cut the insulation and not the strands underneath. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Well crimped. Now I'm gonna feed these back uh, into the battery bay. What do you think of that? It's amazing. I'm so thrilled. Oh, can we be done now? It is hot. It's so warm. You done good, kid. You done good. All right, time to go. The big reveal of plugging it in will happen tomorrow. Yay! Hopefully. Yay! <laughs>